And hey, Mark Tassler, welcome to another edition of Outside the Oval. A lot of racing over the Memorial Day weekend. We ran Sunday night and Monday night at Houston Speedway. A total of 11 classes in all between the two nights. 11 different winners we're going to talk about. A lot of action within each class. Therefore, bear with me, I want some notes here because uh, a lot of stuff to keep track of. i still got a lot of race cars going around in my head. I don't want to leave anyone out where there's notes for me, especially when there are notes that I scribbled at the racetrack. I better put some glasses on, too. The Outlaw Sprints ran on Sunday night at Houston Speedway. In, it was dynamite. We had a super racetrack. Grooves. I'm not talking grooves in the track. Grooves to race on. There were high lines, low lines, and down the middle. They could take it right down Broadway, go high, go low. We had a big racetrack. A lot of grooves for the cars to race on and some great action. Mark Dobmeyer, the five-time champion out of Grand Forks, North Dakota, with a number 13 car, was on a mission. This guy was running the high side mainly, wide open throttle, and he drives for the win. He holds off Ian Madsen with the number 18 car, the Australian driver that won the week before. Madsen was right on his tail. The big excitement going on behind those two guys, third and fourth, it was Terry McCarl and Craig Delansky. An insane amount of slide jobs exchanged between those two drivers. McCarl finished in third. Delansky finished fourth in that race. It was just absolutely a, a fantastic night of racing in the Outlaw Sprints. We'll go to the uh, other classes now that ran both Sunday night and Monday night. I want to go to the championship sprint division. Sunday night, Tommy Barber of Brandon with the number 75 car took the victory. And on Monday night, Terry McCarl took his 410 engine out of his outlaw sprint car like I suspected some of those drivers would. Matter of fact, we had a couple of them do that and put a 360 motor in to compete in the 360 sprint action. McCarl took the win on Monday night. Now, this was not an easy one for him. It was a huge battle back and forth with Jack Dover, the gas man out of Nebraska with the number 53 car. I mean, they were almost banging wheels at two different cases on the track, one time on the front straightaway, one time on the back straightaway. At the double checkered flag, it was McCarl taking the win. The big night, or the big weekend, would be for the driver that finished in third, and that was Eric Lutz with the number six car, Eric from Sioux Falls. He charged from the number 12 starting spot to finish third on Monday night, and with that, he wins the three-night series, the Lauren Barstead Memorial. He's the champion of that big showdown that started Saturday night at I-90 Speedway in Hartford. He uh, took the win there Saturday night. He finished second on Sunday night and coupled with his third place finish on Monday night, he was a champion taking the big payout, the big portion of that $10,000 uh, purse. Micro sprints were in action. The 600cc micro sprints are screaming on the track. Big field of cars both nights. And it was number seven, Shane Fick out of Laverne, Minnesota, winning both Sunday and Monday. He was uh, uh, strong both nights, a two-time defending champion. Now, Monday night, a close battle with Bill Bowles in the 12B car out of Harris, Iowa, but the number seven came across the finish line, winning both Sunday and Monday. Street stocks, Darren Cordell swept the weekend. He drives that 11X car out of Rock Rapids, Iowa, the blue and white machine, taking the victory both Sunday and Monday. And uh, he uh, took over the lead on Sunday with two laps to go, an exciting one there, the former track champion. B-Mods, we had a couple different winners there. Sunday night it was Coulter Dyche out of Canaransi, Minnesota, in the number five X car, his second straight win. Sunday night with that victory, he takes over the top spot in the record books at Houston Speedway for the most wins in the class of B-Mods. And uh, Monday night it was Brock Hess in the number 16 car taking the win. Uh, hobby stocks, Dustin Gobronson with the number six car from Sioux Falls Sunday night, his second win in a row. Then Monday, it was number 71, Zach Oliver out of Sioux Falls, the defending champion, taking the victory. Those are the highlights uh, of the two nights of action. If you go down to my story here, go into the text, you can uh, click on Sunday night complete results, Monday night complete results, get the whole rundown with the cars listed by the drivers, their numbers, their hometowns, and so on. So, hey, that's a a look at what happened uh, over the weekend, getting set now for what's coming up this coming weekend. It'll be a big night Sunday night at Houston's. Join us a little later in the week for more Outside the Oval, and we'll give you the rundown. If you were at the races over the weekend, both the nights that I talked about, and you didn't find them exciting, maybe you need to go in for a pulse check. It was, it was really great. It was great to be uh, out there announcing the races. That's it for now. I'm Mark Tassler.